Good morning, YouTube. What's up? It is Seth Ream, and welcome to day 11 of the vlog. It is Monday, so I have class today at noon. So, uh, let's head to class. I am now downtown, and I'm gonna head to class, so let's go. When are we 15 minutes later? All right, so I just got out of class, and I'm going to head home and get something to eat. Well, I am home for the night now, so uh, we're going to do something that we haven't done before. Things not to say to a magician. Thing number one, never to say to a magician. Can you do it again? One of the magic rules is to never do a trick more than once. The first time it's entertainment, the second time it's educational. Thing number two. Oh, I've seen this one before. No, you haven't. Almost every time I'm around a group of people and they ask to see something, I pull out a deck of cards and I immediately hear someone go, I've seen this one before. Chances are it's something I've come up with myself and you never have. Thing number three. I know how you did that one. Even if you do know how I did that trick, there is no need for you to say that you do. Whenever I watch another magician, I don't say, oh, I know how that one was done. Because it's given, me being a magician, I already know how that trick was done. But I want the rest of the people that don't know how it's done to be able to enjoy it. Thing number four. Can I show you a trick? Or... Oh, I bet you haven't seen this trick before. Here's the thing, everybody does the exact same tricks. Chances are I have seen that trick before. Now I can't speak for other magicians, but I actually do like it whenever somebody wants to show me a trick. I just don't like it whenever somebody says it's one that they're pretty sure I've never seen before. Magic has been my life for six years now. I have seen pretty much every trick there is. Number five. Christ Angel's really cool. Uh, Alright, Chris Angel does TV magic. He's a great TV magician. But never tell another magician that you think Chris Angel is cool. Because then they'll just laugh at you. Watch any interview with Pendulette where he talks about Chris Angel. You'll understand why magicians don't like him that much. Number six. Can you make my wife disappear? Or husband, or dog, or kids, or mother-in-law, whatever. I've heard it all. I hear these jokes all the time and they get annoying. It drives me crazy. And finally, number seven. How did you do that? Now I understand that sometimes that's just a natural response you have as soon as I show you a trick. But there are some of these magicians out there and I'm not gonna name any names but I've seen it before and they think whenever someone goes, how did you do that? They genuinely want to know how you did that. So without any hesitation, that magician proceeds to reveal how they did that trick. Also, it's just plain rude to ask a magician how they did that. Well, that's it for this segment on things not to say to a magician. I'm going to head to Mason's house right now, and we're going to work on some magic stuff. And now we're downtown. Alright, so we just got done talking about the show a little bit at Hertz Donuts. Now we're going to go to Steak and Shake. Yeah, yeah, we are, Mason. It was your idea. We've been here for a while. Well, now I'm home, and I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow.